Hello everyone. I hope all is well. So I do want to share a dream that I have with you all. And it's about the Mark of the Beast chip. And recently I asked God, well, why is it that a person will be damned if they get this, this chip? And he answered me this morning. And in the dream, I was able to see the test results of the chip. And they're basically almost done, you know, with it. Um, I was shown that it worked in like five people and in just a few, it didn't work. But on the results from what I saw, God gave me my answer. And this chip that they put into people, it's going to alter the way people think to the point they will never ever be able to come into the state of repentance ever it will cause some type of imbalance that will just literally cut them off from any type of positive godly thinking and he helped me to understand that all these these pills and these medicines that they put out all they have been doing is testing this mark of the beast chip that's why on some commercials you know it's like, you know, this may cause depression, this may cause a headache, you know, this this may cause this type of thinking. They have been trying to figure out how to literally cut, you know, find that that chemical, you know, whatever button they need to push to just end all type of godly thinking. And that's why if you get this chip, you will be damned because God caused us to repent and believe in Jesus and that chip will not allow you to do that anymore and um, another thing he brought to my remembrance um, I remember I heard um, someone say yeah because when you work out you know it it brings you know chemicals into your body that makes you feel better so it's something that we have you know access to in our bodies naturally that they are just going to just this chip is going to have it and is literally going to alter away how a person thinks and they will never, ever, ever, ever be able to live how God wants us to live. It's it's kind of what whatever it is, it's it's like it's going to cut that that positiveness that we get from God. So I'll read a few scriptures as well. I'm going to read Revelation 14. And I'll read 9 to 11. Nariah, come up here. I'm outside. So um, it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and have his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast and receive his image and who receiveth the mark of his name. Another thing that I want you guys to understand is that it's people who haven't been forced to get this mark who already like have it because they already live in a life fulfilled with sin, lying, sex outside of marriage, and gossiping. And it's like nothing has been taken away from these people or anything. So it's like how much more are people going to take this mark? When it's like, you can't buy or sell, you can't eat, you can't have access to, to your daily necessities. Because in Revelations 13, it says, And no man might buy or sell, except he have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So it's like, ain't nothing even being forced on people now and people just willingly serving Satan. So how much will they do it when it's like, live or die? God want to build your faith now. He wants to get our hearts prepared now. So when these things come, we will be prepared. You know, 
rather i don't know if these things will happen before he takes his bride or after he takes his bride but this was given to me in a dream today that the mark of the beast chip will alter your way of thinking to the point you will never be able to turn from wickedness wickedness will be embedded in you from the chip that they put into you so please seek God now. Let him build your faith. So if they ready to kill you, persecute you, you're able to just let them do what they gonna do. Because look at what's going on overseas. People are getting killed for the name of Christ. You know, people really think that, oh, the bride won't, you know, see these things. God don't show no partiality. You know, what about the people overseas who getting drowned, who getting burned, who getting tortured? You better believe this stuff is going to hit America. We are up next. This is the last kingdom that Satan needed to basically bring all the kingdoms, you know, into one. You know, we were like one of the last Christian nations standing and we have conformed to the world. We have begged for wickedness. It's like other nations may not have accepted homosexuality, but they worship in snakes and, and silver and, and gold and, and mouses. So they was already cut off for God. Satan needed this country to be taken over. Once that chip is ready and it's, it's complete and, and tested to the point that it works on everybody, it's going to go down because Satan will have everything that he needed that he needs to to do what he wants to do. Because all, all, all he wants is a soul. All he wants is people down there burning with him. And once that chip is ready, it's going to go down. Because once they get it, it's, it's no way out. Like they are done. Right now, people got this this free will. But once you get that chip, you will have no free will. So please, seek him while it is time. Jesus loves you and he is coming. And I'll say a prayer. Lord, thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us, Lord. If there's any sin in my heart, I ask that it would be removed in the name of Jesus, that this prayer may be of effect. Lord, Remove our sin, purge us, make us white as snow. Let us be found worthy to escape the things that are to come. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And I felt led to say this. A lot of people, you know, they have a belief in mid-tribulation rapture, pre-trip, um, revelation trap um, rapture, and end of the tribulation um, rapture. Um, and honestly, God hasn't revealed that to me, so I don't speak on it. I know it will be a rapture. I just don't know when. No one knows when. But I don't want the people to see thinking that you're not going to see nothing and God going to take you away before all this stuff comes. Because God don't show no partiality. Look around. You have like... It's nations been living in poverty. It's nations been not having no water. It's nations been not having no stores to go into. It's nations been hit with earthquakes and disasters and they have nothing. So why don't you think that you are you won't witness those things too? And that's going to cause a lot of people to turn away from God. Because they think that they won't see those things. And when they see him, they're going to be feeling let down. But God already told us these things that will happen. He, he gives us strength. He gives us faith to endure these things. That's a part of, you know, us, us escaping, you know, just having faith, a peace of mind through trials. It's a lot of people who don't got no faith. But y'all have a nice day. And if it's his will, I will talk to y'all later. Have a nice day. Bye.